aka QB Crossing, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another Dream Island tour, and I am really excited for this island because it is a foresty cottage core island and it has lots of pops of purples and overgrown flowers. So I just cannot wait to dive in. I have been following this creator for months and months on Instagram, and I always love their natural island. So I'm really honored that we have the chance to tour and get to experience this together. So as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and let's just get right into it. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm at Resident Services is open the map just to kind of orient myself and see what's going on here. So you guys can grab a dream address now if you want, it will also be in the description. But the map is looking up beautiful. I really like all the cliff terraforming and the waterscaping. It looks like it's going to be really, really beautiful. So let's see what villagers Claudia has here. We have Sally, Eric, Cole, Kiki, Tad, Molly, Grizzly, Hazel, Bee, and Teddy. Lots of cuties. I have to be honest, I've never seen Sally in my life before, so I was like, who is that <laughs> when I open up the map? But I'm sure that her house is super cute, and I am already loving this aesthetic. I am a big fan of this dirt pathing. I'm using it actually on my spring core island. It just is so realistic and beautiful, so I'm really happy that Claudia is using this on her island also. All right, and then I'm assuming that this is the airport over here and it looks like Claudia left some presents for us. Oh my gosh, a lot of presents. And of course, they're all this really cute brown wrapping paper, which definitely fits in with this really sort of rustic vibe that Claudia has going on. It's so gorgeous and it's, it really reminds me of just like a traditional cottage core island and I feel like since I've been so into spring core islands lately, I do miss the traditional cottage core aesthetic. So this is giving me a lot of serotonin right now. We have a yellow airport here and a custom flag. I think Claudia made this flag herself. Um, if not, I will link it in the description, but Claudia also made a map for her island, which I'll put up on the screen and also link that for you guys because it's really easy to kind of go around the island and make sure that you're not missing anything by checking out on the map where all the big kind of builds are on the island. So right off the bat, you know I love to look at the entrance as soon as I get here, open up my camera app and see what's going on. I mean, this is just beautiful. I can tell that the terraforming is going to just get better and better as we go around. The browns are so gorgeous. I love these little pops of white with the mush lamps, the dropped items over here. This is really bringing me back to my original island QB, which was really forest core, cottage core, and I'm really missing it right now. Look at all these trees lining the pathway. This is one of my favorite things to do with paths is just line it with trees and lots of flowers. I also think that the purples are really helping this island to give it a little bit of contrast with all of the neutral colors. So it looks really nice and it definitely sets this island apart from other cottage core islands. Okay, adorable pathing going on over here. I love the mix of these log paths with the dirt pathing. It really adds a little bit of interest to the space and it looks like this villager, I think this is Cole's house, has a little bug study and it's so adorable. This is really perfect for him and it's just so sweet. And we have, ooh, okay, this is a really interesting way to treat your peninsula. So Claudia made it like this little flower field and I really like the mix of the purples and greens. I think that looks really beautiful and with these little tree stumps, just a, a really nice natural way to not go too crazy with your peninsula. So I definitely like that a lot. Um, let's walk up here and see what's going on over here on the beach. 
I really like this. This is my preferred way of decorating beaches, just doing some weeds and flowers, fencing, and little uh, custom codes throughout to really just fill in the space but not go too crazy. I mean, realistically, you're not gonna have crazy builds on the beach, so if you are going for that natural aesthetic, it's definitely a good way to fill in those areas and just make it feel really kind of realistic. <laughs> Oh, look at this. We have a boho beach picnic. This is one of my favorite things to do on the beach. If you haven't tried this yet, I definitely recommend for especially a big area like this for the front sides of your beaches to put together a little picnic like this. It is so cute to have the log benches as tables and then playing around with different cushions and customizations on those. This is also really detailed over here, the little seashell on this pile of Zen cushions. It just is so, so cute. And we have a lavender farm over here. I think I need to make a lavender farm. The more that I see beautiful creations like this, the more that I really want to have a lavender farm on my island. Um, I'm assuming that this is Claudia's house and I'm just gonna go right in. I'm really not sure if it's done yet, but it's it's a surprise and, and we'll, we'll see. Oh, it is done, look at that super cozy definitely bringing in that whole brown aesthetic that we have everywhere else throughout the island it looks so good i'm really obsessed with the antique mini table lately so i'm really glad to see that here and just all the details the little shoes at the front i'm really loving it i can see that claudia blocked off the back room with those bookshelves so we won't go back there but looks like every other room is done this is definitely a cute cottagecore kitchen i feel like i've seen something like this a real life picture in on pinterest so really good job with that whenever i do interiors i have to look at a real life photo and try to recreate it because i just never have any oops um ideas for interiors so that is pretty much my only way to actually build something inside is by looking at a real picture. So I recommend that if you guys have not done that yet. Um, really, really cute bathroom over here. Somehow fancy, but still cozy. I really like this, kind of separating it with those partitions. It looks really, really pretty. And all of the details on the walls too. I really like that everything is so filled up and really curated and thoughtful. And I wonder what the bedroom looks like. I'm assuming that the upstairs is the bedroom. So let's take a look and see, cause I always like to see how people break up these big spaces. And of course, I mean, it's so cute. I love this brown shaggy rug. It works so well, especially if you have a similar color palette to Claudia's Island. This is a great way to break up that room space I love this over here. It, look at how the light is coming in through the window. It just looks so cute. And putting up some sweaters or clothing items on the wall is always a great way to decorate. That is probably one of my favorite things to do for interiors, hanging up hats and sweaters. So also recommend doing that if you're looking to fill up some wall space. Let's see, ooh, okay. Ooh, this is very, I don't know, this is kind of even more cozy than the other rooms. I'm getting a little bit of like a worker's studio, kind of feels a little bit like fairy tale like for some reason. I think it might be the lighting for me, but I really like this. It feels so cozy. Imagine just going down here and watching a movie with some Berliners and tea by the fireplace. Really stunning, stunning, stunning. So of, of course, Claudia, I, I think this is Claudia's third island, maybe. Um, and I have to say, which I always say, if people have their interiors done, I commend you because usually by the end of my, my island decorating, I don't feel like doing my interiors. So I'm always blown away by people that can kind of fill up a full house. 
and and really make it look good so also just looking at the decor around claudia's house it looks beautiful and once again i really really like the pathing going around here and the mix of pathing with the dirt paths and all of these other custom clothes it just looks really beautiful so we saw cole's house over here and now i'm going to head this way and see what else is going on this is to the left side of resident services by the way so i really like that that is all accessible and look at this view right here i can tell that this is just like one of those gorgeous 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 <laughs> sceneries that i would love to see a picture like this come up on my feed i love to see the, oh there's two inclines that's even more beautiful let me open up the camera app again look at how gorgeous that is I have to take a couple of pictures because I need to document my time here I really like this I am a big fan of sideways or backwards inclines and somehow somehow made the museum look good I actually like this museum I really hate the museum building you know that most likely if you know me but i always keep it in the tent but now i really don't mind this like uh I, what was it like the intermediate <laughs> middle stage of the museum after it's in the tent it gets to that and then it gets upgraded again i do like the brown look of that and it really actually does work on this island so i have to say i really like that treatment I'm gonna go up here now and again just look at all the beautiful work around here i mean this is really hard to pull off to have your pathing flowers trees just placed so perfectly and filling it up thinking about what items you can use throughout so i think the little dropped items really add the pile of leaves we have our baby kiki's house over here don't we this is kiki's house yes i love kiki i think her house is adorable too and it looks like she has a little picnic area over here and she has a strawberry farm she deserves that she truly does <laughs> that is so cute i love all the farmy aspects of this island too i wonder if we could go anywhere over here oh look at the way that claudia broke up the front of this cliff with those uh with the fencing and then the why am i losing my words today uh the beekeepers thingy <laughs> i you know what there's only so many words that my brain can process at a time so you guys know what i'm talking about a really cute little lake over here i mean all of this is just so well done i have to say that this is one of my favorite islands it just there's something about these really traditional forest core cottage core islands that always blow me away i mean even thinking about the stuff over here using the firewood is a great idea for i i don't know whose house this is let me double check i feel like it's uh i'm not even gonna guess is it no that's not teddy's house oh gosh it's gonna be the last house that i look at hazel oh okay that's why because i've never had hazel on my island so i really didn't know what her house looked like but i really actually do like that exterior a lot over here we have another little mush farm great idea and then before i even go back there i noticed a incline and i want to check out what's down on this side so let's see oh my gosh this is like a meadow next to a lake with oh my gosh really cute i love that she used the tree stumps as seats that is such a great idea also whenever i use that table with cloth i love to play around with different seats um, i use like a leaf stool cushion so i like using the tree stump as well and then look at this oh my gosh what a beautiful view i love that she terraformed out this piece so that you can really stand over there and look at the lake you go fishing just so cute and it's like a really interesting way to get over to i think this is eric's house or or molly's house i'm not sure they have like the same looking house but um i really like that you don't usually see someone terraform like this and then put a house back there so i think that that is really unique and beautiful let's head up this way oh my gosh what okay so maybe you're supposed to come through this way and that is even more stunning i love using this 
uh, vertical board fencing and then that cutout standee it looks so cool it's like a secret garden oh my gosh I love this so so much um, knowing me I am NOT going around the proper flow of this island I am just exploring and seeing what I find but I think we found Claudia Claudia <laughs> welcome oh my gosh hello my dear so happy to be here <laughs> look at this oh my gosh you know i never think to use this very standard bridge but it looks really great with all of the terraforming that claudia has done over here and even though i'm probably not going in the right direction i like that her island really flows from any way that you kind of stumble upon anything we have another beautiful house over here i'm getting lots of like cabiny vibes from a lot of these houses and i like it a lot i see a little baby kiki hello we have a fishing area i like using this uh, director's chair too because you can customize it this beach is really well done with all of the codes as well and i guess since i'm already down here i should just see what this little pathway was like okay so that takes us back to resident services noted for when we head back that way but i'm gonna continue up over here and make sure that we see everything on the right side as well so we have another oh i like the way that claudia did this river mouth over here and it breaks out into two directions that looks really nice and we have some little camp areas on the beach love using these tire toys as well i've been using them a lot on my island and look at how cute this is so it actually leads to the main campsite and it's by the pier what a lovely little pier just a little writing area i really like that a lot oh my gosh i never know what to do with my pier so maybe i'll do something simple like that we have just a little area on the beach here to lay out i love the yellow shoes and the yellow beach towels they look really good oh okay we have a camper van design going on over here i really am obsessed with all these camper van codes and it works really well because claudia has it near her main campsite so look at how pretty that looks that is just stunning and the, the natural lake over here, all of the pathing. There's just so much detail that went into this and the items that Claudia is picking. So I think that she has just done such a good job. Oh, oh, that thing scares me. I don't even know what that is, but okay. We're just gonna walk right on by that. <laughs> but I do like all of the additional rocks over here because they really match so well with the rocks that are actually on the island so that's a really cool idea if you're looking to just fill up some beach space we have a little bath area i mean i love when people do laundry areas or bath areas over on these rocks because it just looks so cozy and spa like i mean imagine being in a bubble bath right on like right next to the ocean who wouldn't want that Oh, and it looks like we have a little beekeeper area. I like these yellows. I also like that Claudia is kind of color coordinating based on sections. So she is using a lot of color, but it looks very intentional and I really enjoy that. So we're going to head back up this way and follow this little path. Like I said, everything is really easy to get around, even if you're like me and you're probably not going the correct flow of the island. Claudia has made it so that you can really access any area from any direction. So that is pretty much what I'm doing. And it's really easy for you to get back on course. So I appreciate that a lot. We're going to head back into this like secret garden over here. And I think I'm going to go, whoa, what's over here? Oh, I must have missed that. Look at that land bridge. Okay, I'm sure we'll make our way over there. But we're gonna go up here because I noticed that there was an incline, which means I must go up it. <laughs> and we have a little tea area. Again, all these browns and all the codes that Claudia is using are so pretty. We have another camp area over here, which looks just so cute. And it's kind of behind that main camp area. And then we have this gorgeous, gorgeous land bridge. I love seeing the trees on each side and the jail bars on each side of the land bridge. It looks so good. That was really well done. And I always like to add in a land bridge if I can to just 
break up some of my terraforming. It adds a little bit of depth to your island. So I highly recommend if you're thinking about doing a land bridge to, to do it. <laughs> Okay, really cute house over here as well. I Now I want Tad because look at how cute his house is with the greens and the little pops of red. He also has a study area as well, which makes a lot of sense, I think, for him. And then back down here, just, okay, so this is where I must have missed that before. It's behind the, oh no, I'm stuck. Okay, it's behind the camper van. Okay, now I know now i know if i ever visit this island again how to not get lost <laughs> so we're gonna come back across this land bridge and let's see so i don't think there's anything over here to the right that's just cliff decor and we saw that beach side already so we're gonna continue this way and i think i saw nook's cranny over here so i definitely want to take a look at how she set up nooks i love this okay so she must be in early autumn then because i see the little pumpkins on nooks another really sweet little kind of just picnic area i could imagine timmy and tommy sitting out here having a cup of tea on their break <laughs> really really cute and another farm as well okay we also have a incline up here which leads to another like pumpkin farm and look at these windmills in the back that looks so good and a little like laundry area and even look at that i mean i love seeing that depth here with the terraforming and seeing those trees on the second and third level really adds so much variation in height and it just looks so good i think did we see this house already no we did not another cabiny feel i really like all of the wood items the barrels and even using like the tire items and the firewood somehow just works so well on this island so i'm i'm really kind of you know i'm just in love as usual when i do these tours i only really uh take the tours that i know I, I've done a lot of research on, so I know whenever I see them, I'm like, I know I'm going to just be pretty much ooing and aahing the whole time. We have a gorgeous little secret beach over here. Looks, although those little sea creatures definitely scare me a bit, but it does make a lot of sense for the secret beach as kind of a, maybe some, some sort of i'm losing i'm losing my words again some sort of like bug catching area or i i don't know a workstation uh yeah I'm not sure what i was trying to say there but i do like the the little incline down here and going up here look at that i could see red just docking up there and taking all those bugs for some reason like a little port that they all go out of and i love to see this was oh a rock garden up here like a meadowy rock garden that looks so good and again even more different colors a picnic area within the meadow that is a really good way to fill up some of your cliff space and it just looks so good i love that everywhere you go you can kind of see another view of a beautiful area what do we have over here oh okay so this was to the left of nooks noted was there something back there that i missed no okay so that was the that was the pumpkin farm and i'm going to run this way was this okay yeah so we saw this already because that was hazel's house and now we're gonna i think head no okay <laughs> shannon orient yourself okay that was the meadow up there and now we have Abel sisters i knew we didn't see Abel sisters yet and i really like this nestled in with the cliffs and just kind of having that loom out in the front and the sweater really really cute and just perfectly executed as with the rest of this island i'm also going to just continue around this way um i think we were okay right so we were over here and now I think that there was some stuff to this side, some villager houses that we may have missed. So we have a house over here that I don't remember seeing. So I really like this. It's kind of pushed against the side of the cliff. I like to see this little, you know, tea area over here. I feel like all the villagers are really living their absolute best lives on this island. And we have another picnic area here. 
along with a little beekeeping area. I love to see these yellows against all the browns throughout the island. So I, I like just seeing the different pops of colors. That's Bee's house. Bee has some more purple flowers, which I think really works for her. And a little laundry area over on these rocks, which like I was saying before, I love to do laundry areas and things like that over on the rocks. I think that it always just works really well and it makes a lot of sense because you can imagine filling up your little bucket of water in the ocean. So really just overall well done with everything. I can't get enough of just kind of running around this island and how well it, it, it flows and all the beautiful details when it comes to the flowers and the custom codes and and just all the even down to the dropped items it's so gorgeous so here we are back at the entrance i think we saw everything and i really really enjoyed this tour i hope you guys enjoyed it as well let me know what you thought in the comments and please be sure to give the creator some love so i will see you guys next time have a great day bye mm -hmm.